Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I want to bring something to your attention. Now, I want to show you the blackout cloth. It'll, it'll ring a bell that we've been using for some time. As a matter of fact, at the bottom of the comment section, I will leave a link there. I want you to look at that link. And in that link, we'll show the timestamp on how long we've been advertising this blackout cloth. The reason why I'm saying this is because, I mean, I, quite, I kind of find it quite flattering that people will try to copy us, I do, but um, I want you to look at that time stamp on when we started advertising this particular blackout cloth right here. Now, this is a blackout cloth that comes with, we have it in two different kinds, we have it in white and we have it in black. And the reason why we have it in white is because uh, sometimes if we have customers that are going to order the black screen paint, the best way to paint this on is with a black white surface. And then, um, even if we do give you a black one, the paint is a little bit of a different shade. It won't blend in and you won't be able to you notice the difference between the two. I'll show you that downstairs. This is using Black Nano. Now, this is the blackout cloth that we offer to our customers for free. This right here is an acoustic, very lightweight and weatherproof material. Also, too, to add that this surface right here for one gallon kit is a 10 by 20, not a 100 inch, 10 by 20. Now, our two quarts, this is two quarts, also two come with black, but just showing you different ones. The two quarts will come with a kit, uh, a screen size that'll be uh, 10 by 12. So you get 10 by 12. Now, judging when it comes to our smart technology game, we have proven over and over again what our technology can do. Um, we're the only ones that do demonstrations with projectors outside and, f and beyond fully lit environments. That's an outside screen. We do demonstrations outside. We're the ones who started the taping the bar lights to screens and hitting the screens with all these tons of lights. So it just proves that our technology works when other screens just simply just hide in the dark. So this is what comes with the nano kit. Now this right here is a uh, platinum slate. This right here is a uh, silver, this is the nano silver, and this is a nano black. Notice the container of the nano black and the official label of a nano black. All right, now, as I said before, they come with paint sprayers. They are not, they're not meant to be rolled on. It's a very fine uh, um, 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 liquid or chemical, chemical or liquid, whatever it is. All right, so, and there's my screen in there. That's my screen right there, my short throw right there. And a full lit environment. I got it paused on Chromecast. Now, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna show you something. Yes, yes, yes. My environment's messy right now. I'm still cleaning up down here. I got a lot to go. So, this is a frame that is covered with the blackout cloth. As a matter of fact, when you watch that video, you'll see the exact same frame and the same color blackout cloth we're using. Like I said, I find it flat. I know people are gonna copy off us, but I find it quite flattering. Anyway, so let me flip it over. And show you the back end of it so this is it right here this is a material that I showed you upstairs all right now this is actually stapled down to our frame right here I love it when people call it fake but yet they do the same thing we do I can never understand that on certain levels I've yet to see anyone do demonstrations that we do when it comes to ambient lit environments they won't do that all right, so we're gonna come over here as advertised as I showed you upstairs. This is a Wagner 150 paint sprayer right here. I do it in all my demonstrations. All right, we're gonna coat this screen. We're gonna set it up over here and we're gonna watch the demonstration. Also, keep in mind, um, I do demonstrations with elite screens. Now, I would never paint one of their screens. No, no, would never do. I'd be crossing the line with them. I'm not trying to get sued. Um, but also, too, just to add that, a Dark Star 9, which we do demonstrations against is a two to three thousand dollar screen just for a hundred inch and then when you come with the polar star which is think twelve hundred dollars or maybe less or more and then the um the great cinema 5d which will probably cost you somewhere between thirteen hundred dollars and up so around that price keep in mind that you can go out and buy a fixed frame screen because we, we get them wholesale at the time when we were doing this but you can get a fixed frame screen from amazon for like 163 dollars 120 inch coated with our technology and as you see, we do side-by-side -side demonstrations against that technology showing you that you can actually go cheaper. Now, if you decide to go out and buy an Elite screen, I'm not saying that you shouldn't and you shouldn't. It's up to you if you want to go down that route, but it's going to be a huge price difference and all that because here's the thing. 
Uh, those particular screens with high-end screens, like I said, are costing you thousands, but a standard screen that you could probably get somewhere between three and four hundred, maybe two hundred. I don't think two hundred dollars. I think between five and six would be a basic white or very light screen, and you would still have problems. You may have problems with it, or may not. I'm not going to say anything about that because I'm not trying to get sued for anything stupid. Anyway, so let's begin here. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to turn on our sprayer. I'm going to get it the other hand. I always have a little water when I get done cleaning my sprayer that'll come out. And that's something too. You want to make sure that when you clean this out, when you clean off your sprayer, and I do when I get done cleaning, you may have some water trapped in some of the valves. And this may... When you're spraying your screen, it may drip on your screen. So make sure you spray it out, you know, before you put anything in, inside of it. Make sure you just put hook it up and just spray to get out any kind of excess water that may be still in it after you get done cleaning it. Now the beautiful thing about our technology is you don't have to worry about whether or not if the screen has been repainted, you, just, you don't have to prime it, just go right back over top of it and you're done. go back and back, back and forth. Doesn't make a difference how you paint it. It's all gonna come out the same, so it makes no difference. I like to do my edges first. Sometimes that's how I do it. If I'm doing larger screens, I'll do my edges first. Because that makes it easier for me to fill it all in. And some people want you to go into a back and forth motion. I don't do that. It doesn't make a difference. It's all going to come out the same. Now this right here, we're using the black Silver Nano. And we just darken it up. That's basically about it. Like I said, you know, you can do this with the white or black, it doesn't make a difference. And just go back and forth. That's all. Simple. Easy. And we'll paint spray around. Make sure we got the end that we had to reach over to get. And that's it. We're done. All right. Turn off our sprayer, put it over there. Now the reason why I like the Wagner 150 because it doesn't have an over, it doesn't shoot out too much paint from the sprayer. And that's something you have to worry about. If you're dealing, you're dealing with a bigger sprayer, something you may have a problem with. Now if you're doing a large application, that might be perfect for you, but 
like I said, I chose the 150 because the 150 is easier for our customers to handle. Now, as you can see, I was able to spray this. Make sure I got everything good there. I got everything nice and good. I was able to spray this in no time at all whatsoever. All right, so let's come over here and let's remove this. Let me show you the demonstration which you're about to do. Let me come over here and start my, my video. Now keep in mind, the screen is still wet, so it's going to have a little shine to it. Just give an idea how easy it was for me to paint this. Now, like I said, uh, that's our black oak cloth. We've been using that black oak cloth for quite some time. Um, and uh, we chose that because it's very lightweight, uh, very easy uh, to stretch over the frame. And on top of that, it's acoustic, which means sound can travel through it. But like I said, we've been using that, using actually, we've been doing this for quite some time. Now, um, I have, like I said, demonstrations at the bottom showing you the blackout cloth. And like I said, you know, you know, you can't call someone fake if you're basically doing the same thing, you're, if you're trying to do the same thing they're doing. But yeah, just showed you right here. And this is how fast it took me to paint this screen. Now this right here was a customized uh, 235.1 um, screen that I did for myself. Do some pretty flowers. And we're using the paint that I use is an Eclipse, I'm sorry, Eclipse Invisible uh, Black Silver Nano. Like I said, same blackout cloth that we use, same blackout cloth. You know, that I showed you upstairs, same thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna show you the blackout cloth, show you what we have, and then I'm gonna coat a screen using the exact same blackout cloth to show you what the reaction's gonna be with the paint and the surface. So like I said, you know, if you check out the video below in the bottom of the comment section, uh, you'll be able to see uh, the blackout cloth we stretched over the frame and coated it. Uh, at that time it was coated, I think, with a black nano or silver, silver, um, I think it was a platinum, platinum slate at that particular time. It's still the same nano technology. Okay, in case my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. I uh, want to add really quick, hope my time doesn't run out in the middle while I'm saying this, um, with the black silver. Now, keep the black silver nano is the only one that comes with blackout cloth. Uh, the black nano or the platinum slate or the silver does not come with a blackout cloth. They both come with free Wagner paint sprayers. The black silver does come with two quarts will come with a free blackout cloth that'll be 10 by 12 it'll also too with the gallon will come with one gallon will come with 10 by 20 and two gallons will come with two 10 by 20 screens and as you can see with our technology it really doesn't make a difference say if you coat the screen a different color and you decide you want to paint over top of it you can just paint over top of it and be done with it that's it all right let me see if I can hit my switches back here. Because we got some of you guys out there, or ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that, who would like to see what the screen looks like with the lights out. But like I said, very easy to use. And a really quick tip, if you are base, if you clean out your sprayer, you may want to put the compressor into it. Like I said, it's a little shine to it because like I said, it's still wet. But you want to um, spray it out a little bit, like any air, pick the air, push it through it, any um, leftover moisture may be in it, you want to push all that out of there because you can have moisture push out in the process of you painting your screen and you get this drop of water comes down your screen and that's a pain, it becomes a pain in the neck. You gotta wipe it off with your finger and then these little bit of smear mark you just paint over top of, you're not gonna be able to see it, but you just don't wanna go through it to begin with. And 
and my projector for those of you who want to know is sitting back 10 feet we're about 10 feet from our screen 